Hello everyone, today we'll start a new series about the World Cup. One month before the World Cup is so interesting. We start to see the final teams that are going to the World Cup and it is the best time to talk about each participating countries. So today we'll talk about Morocco. Morocco has six appearances in the World Cup. The first one was in 1970. And this is the second time that Morocco has qualified two times in a row. But Morocco balance sheet in the World Cup is not glorious. They only left the group stage once, it was in 1986. And they just won two games in the World Cup. The first one was against Portugal in 1986, with a draw against Poland and England. And the second one was in 1998 against Scotland. But they didn't have enough points to go through the group stage. In 2018, they were close to winning the game against Spain. But we all know that famous gesture that Ambramad made because of the arbitrage decision. In 2022, Morocco didn't have a surprising run in African Cup of Nations. They lost against the future finalists Egypt 2-1 in the quarterfinals. Most Moroccans that I know were not ready for the World Cup with Vahid, the old coach of Morocco since 2019. But in August, everything changed. Vahid was sacked. Ziyech and Mazraoui were back in the national team with Walid Regragui, the old coach of Widad. He really changed Morocco by bringing in stars like Hakimi, Ziyech and many more, and bringing some young players in the team. Moroccans fans now have some hopes in the World Cup after the two friendies against Chile 2-0 and Paraguay 0-0. Now let's talk about the possible lineup for Morocco. Let's start from defense to attack. We will use a 4-3-3 lineup. In the goalkeeper position, it is of course Yassin Bono. He was the best goalkeeper of La Liga in 2021 and 2022 seasons. At 31 years old, he played for Sevilla FC and he is most the time in the lineup of Sevilla. In the two center back position, I will put Saiz and Aguil. They had an incredible season last year. They played really well with Morocco. I really don't see someone that can replace them for now. Now let's talk about the right back. We all know who will take this position. It is of course Hakimi. He is one of the best defender in the world. At the age of 23, he played with Messi and Mbappe in PSG. The only place I can put him is right back or left back. Let's talk now about the last position in defense, left back. We have now a lot of choices like Messina, but he has an injury. The best choice is Mazraoui. He played very well against Chile and Paraguay. In this place, we could change his place to a right back like I said, but for now he's left back. In the center we have Amrabat, Amallah and Unahi. I think it is the best trio for the center. Harry was good but doesn't have a place in this trio for now. Finally the attack. On the right I'm putting Ziyech. He is the key player for Morocco. He made great assists and scored an amazing goal. In the middle, Ennisri. He is good in scoring with his amazing headers. It is the only choice now because Morocco doesn't have a player that can play in this position with the same experience as in Nesri. And on the left, it is of course the Moroccan with Brazilian gameplay, Bufal. I really don't know who else can play at this position. He's so good. So that's it for my World Cup lineup. Now finally let's talk about my prediction for the World Cup. For the game Morocco against Croatia, I will put a 2-2. Against Belgium, I will score 1-0. And the last game, I'm giving 3 2 to Morocco. For now, I'm letting this prediction be like that, but who knows, it could change. Thanks for watching my video. Please let me know in the comments if you love this type of video and which country you wanna see next on my new series.